did it! Alright, I just made it back to the shop. Let's go through what I already got done with this car. Uh, me and Anthony has been really working on this car. I actually had pretty much everybody working on this car yesterday. So, underneath the engine bay, you, as you guys can see, it's fully reassembled. We got the intake box on, we got the intake manifold, we got expansion tank, we got the valve covers on, we got radiator fan back on. We actually upgraded the radiator to CSF radiator. Since this car will be, you know, obviously it's a special car. We want to make sure that it's perfect. We also upgraded the oil cooler to a CSF oil cooler. The wheels are back on. We actually have pretty much all the wires on the front side done. So the front of the car is pretty much done now. Let me show you guys the interior. So the back of the interior is fully reassembled. We got the center console back on. We actually changed out the door panels as well. And then center console's on armrest for my car. This car is a manual. So the last time on Friday, I started up the car, but we actually didn't even have the X-Pipe on. So we had a uh, check and use light for that. So now it's just clearing all the lights. I'm gonna fire it up. And hey, all the lights went away. Look at that. So only errors we have right now is start off assistance, battery discharge, yada, 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 nothing crazy. So we're gonna fire it up now and see. Ready? Ready. We did it! We did it! <laughs> so underneath the car we have the rear subframe on, we have the X-pipe on, the O2 sensors on, we have everything on the front side on. We just gotta install the under trays there, the metal skid plate, two covers on the corner, transmission cover, and then we gotta install the muffler which we're about to do right now. Come on man, I'm trying to drive this thing! I don't know how to hurry up though! Hurry up! <laughs> 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 It's one of those cars where like you see a wagon driving by you're like hey that thing looks kind of cool and then when you actually hear it the V8 coming out of it it's like what? So overall the car is done now there's really nothing left for us to do to it um the guy's gonna pick it up I don't know what's gonna be done to the car afterwards but this time around the engine bay is fully reassembled cleaned up and as you can see it looks like it belongs um, because again everything was swapped over from the E90 donor car. So I mean everything out here looks good. This is probably a new new cap there. Um, the underneath it's a V8. He thought about doing a supercharger but I told him not to keep it naturally aspirated. It sounds amazing. I love the car. I love how it drives. I love the way it sounds. I love that it's actually practical because you actually have room. To me though if you know I were to get a wagon to kind of daily drive the car I would go DCT, you know, yeah, that's my, my preference though. Cause DCT, at least you can drive traffic. You don't have to deal with, you know, shifting all the time. I mean, think about it. You have your kids in here. Do you really want to be shifting gears everywhere you go? Right, Michael? Just no. Just a couple paddles. No, no, no. Just paddles, yeah. that's it. And then also a couple things to add on. This car is ready for the track as well, which would be kind of cool to see a wagon on the track. Um, we actually upgraded the radiator, CSF, oil cooler, pretty much everything that you could to upgrade the car for cooling, just in case he does want to go track. The brakes, we did F80 front, rear. Um, so you guys can see that over here. He changed the wheels to T37s, which to me, the color kind of blends in with the car. Uh, it needs some contrast, like especially right now in this lighting. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, they're T's. Yeah, they're T's. So they're lightweight, but that's about it. Besides that, that's pretty much it for this build. I hope you guys had a lot to see and learn from it. And if anybody else wants to build another car just like this, you guys know how much work goes into it now. Um, obviously, we did more stuff to it, as in, you know, performance stuff. But overall, it's quite a lot of work. So yeah, let's go for another drive. All right, so now we're gonna switch roles. I'm gonna have Michael drive the car because he is a E92 M3 owner. 
I am. What is this thing? Um, you see that is how you put it into race mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push it up. Yep, that's race mode. Race okay. mode right there. Got it. Okay. And then if you put it into one, right? That means you get 100 horsepower. You go to two, it's 200 horsepower. 600 horsepower. It goes all the way to 600 horsepower. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. I know. I know. It doesn't feel like it though. You know, even though it says that you get 600 horsepower, it feels like you get 200. Yeah. I think first gear gets you like 50 horsepower though. The DCT is a little faster. <laughs> that was the worst Yeah, DCT, I mean think about it, there's 7 speed, right? So it's 700 horsepower. Yeah. Exactly. So. I, miss, I miss having a manual car. See, the thing is with manual, like I'm the same way where I feel like I miss a manual, but then after driving it for one day, yeah. I'm like, I don't I'm miss a manual. I think like having a manual would be great if you have it as like a secondary car where you drive it every, every now and then. Yeah. But let's be honest here, you know, in California. Traffic central. <laughs> yes. Maybe on the weekends, but realistically speaking, even on the weekends, what do you want to do? Go to the canyons, right? Yeah, sure, you can go to the canyons and uh, enjoy driving the manual, but then the drive back, you're like, I hate the same thing. Yep. Yeah, so I mean, overall, there's no noises, there's nothing, everything's perfect. So I have Michael driving the car now, so it's my first time seeing the car outside and hearing the car. Let's see how it sounds. Jesus Christ, that thing is loud. <laughs> it's crazy to see this thing come out of a wagon. <laughs> So that's pretty much for today's video. There's really nothing left for us to film. I mean, you guys have seen everything throughout the whole process of what was required to get this thing done. Um, the car is fully functional. We're going to deliver the car today and probably say goodbye to it because I believe he's selling the car and it's going to the East Coast. So whoever the new owner is, if you're watching this, you're one lucky owner. I put a lot of, a lot of work into this car. Um, we all did. We put in so much work into this car. I would say there's over four, probably 400 hours into this car. And I have so many cuts from this car. It was actually very fun to build this. Um, I would love to build something else that's insane. But there is a new update for you guys as well. I haven't been filming. I haven't been doing any content. I've been busy. I had a kid two months ago. So that kind of took away my motivation to do it. But moving forward, as of today, I'm gonna do my best to try to produce as many videos as I can. We have a lot going on at the shop. We have a lot of cool content that I expect to be filming. And I bought a new project card that should allow you guys to really see what I'm capable of. So this, yeah, we were able to build something, but we kind of took one car, put it into another car, and just kind of combined it together. What I'm planning on building is something that's completely different, where it's still from a BMW. I am building another BMW, but it's gonna be something that, realistically speaking, has never been built by BMW. I'm kind of taking an idea of every single little thing that they offered throughout the years that they made the car, and I'm putting it into one car, and hopefully getting it fully functional. But we have a lot going out the shop. We have a cool project that we will be filming. And actually, I was just telling Michael about it. Um, this one is actually a big deal. Um, this car is coming from Mexico. It's already here. We've actually been working on it behind the scenes. And if you guys are following this person and are following me now, you guys have an idea of who I'm talking about. But hopefully we have some content for you guys on that car next week. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Peace.